just answering questions with a specific person or from a specific person so here we go um, are you trying to drop hints that the two victims were found in a barn over in the area you have shown um i don't know why anybody does this sort of thing no <laughs> okay uh i'm going to point out something here um the rest of the things this person says is actually brought up the simple concept here a real simple one paranoia but now i'm freezing <laughs> i'm outside so uh, but anyway when someone listens to you say 2 plus 2 equals 3 and they ask you, why are you talking about lemons? This is not a point where you accuse them of being reasonable, rational, or anything other than dicking with you. The video very clearly shows several of them repeatedly where I came to the conclusion that the two victims were found. Nothing else is asserted or hinted at. I don't hint at things. I'm not a little chick. So now we'll go on to the next part here, if I can alt tab properly. Who else caught the fact? The fact! Okay, let's just cover this. If you yell fact, or you can't deny, when people say those words, I learned this by dealing with Christians and Islamics, politicians. Anybody who wants to make an assertion that has no base to it is going to use fact and bunch of those shit. So let's get on. It's not you, I'm just really cold right now. And it causes me to go into sleepy mode. This is the first stage of hyperthermia for me. I have a very strange set of problems medically. But anyway, you must have a pretty good job because you have enough cash for a month's rent. No, I do computer work and it's intermittent and I don't have a job right now. At the time I had a job, I did have several months rent built up from doing work for many, many months. Next. You're worried about getting to bed early for work? Question mark. Okay. No, I'm worried about getting to bed early because the temperature drops severely at 2 a.m. and I leave the coffee shop as late as I can so I spend the least amount of time in cold air. I'll get to how to survive and not have hypothermia in Portland, Oregon in the unsuspectingly cold environment you have, mostly here on cement where I'm sitting answering your questions and if you do this one of those things where you're going to start saying I'm gonna keep you busy by making you answer questions then you'll say after I stop Pat responding to you ah you're not responding to me because I am I'm a source of truth uh, am I predicting your programming when people pull this kind of bullshit it's called cold reading it gets really annoying and uh, it's not just the amazing Randy um, that we go around ruining soothsayers by overreacting to things that are not important and not reacting as much as possible to anything the person might have actually stumbled on so that they would skip it. When it's a cold reading behavior, you just treat it like a poker game. So let's get on with it. And then he says, detective? No, ex-hacker. <laughs> but that's closer. I used to do data recovery. So that's kind of like it. Also, you should have co that cough checked out. You misspelled cough. TB is making a comeback. Ugh. I have permanent lung damage. The other things you posted uh, were also addressed in another video, but let me get this. I'm literally shivering. Okay, I'm literally shaking. Um, was Ron trespassing through the crime scene on the 13th? It was his property. It's not trespassing. He has no wonder as he the possible one of the possible suspects was all over the land the day they were killed. I'm not sure what you're talking about here. This happened because police called off the search, giving him almost 24 hours to do whatever he unwanted do whatever he wanted to to unwanted trespassers. They may have cut through his yard, and then the person goes on and on about some hypotheses. Um, uh, aimless speculation like this doesn't really solve anything. Now uh, we'll get back to me because this is apparently about me in the last comment you made because it was about trying to figure out some angle you could use to get mad at me or something. I don't normally respond to troll bait like this, so uh, forgive me. How to survive while being homeless in a wet, cold, windy environment like the one I'm in right now. If you can keep your body temperature up and not... Uh, feel compelled to go to sleep 
<sighs> you don't die from hyperthermia as easy. You can go to sleep when it's warm. You can't go to sleep when it's cold. Because human beings have a vestigial function of being able to hibernate. And it doesn't work very well. That's called hypothermia. That's what we have. It's a legacy function from being able to hibernate. Partially. Most mammals have it. But we just call it hypothermia when we're not really able to do it correctly. Uh, even some creatures like uh, hummingbirds go into torpor, And it makes them shut down. They basically go into suspended animation. They sound like they're snoring, but that's literally a little bird upside down or, or sitting down gasping for breath while partially unconscious. So, it's kind of funny that me sitting here is, is instituting all the functions. Now, these are the first stages. Next is brain fog. And then I fall asleep in the warm snow, as it was said in a movie. So, as you might imagine, <sighs> even with the crazy person up the road there, my main priority now is getting back in sight. Also, this type of gloves is really good for your hands. But I do thank you for attempting to cast aspersions upon my hamster dancing. Um, but anyway, I was trying to get up early in the morning because it would be something that would be to my benefit because it would prevent me from sleeping in and maybe not waking up. Thank you and good day.